Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Please ignore any noise in my background. I live under a one ton elephant. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about these sneakers that I recently bought. These are the Playoff 12s. I got them in a four and a half. As you guys can see by the title, I got them at Club, but they ended up going through GOAT and then GOAT ended up shipping them out through DHL, which I was unhappy about. Super, I'm still disappointed and unhappy about it. And um, yeah, they came from Hong Kong. I, when I saw that email pop up, my heart literally dropped. I was like, why would y'all do this to me? Like I literally bought from you before and they did not come from Hong Kong. So anyways, that's a big thing. So I ended up went, going on YouTube and just seeing so many videos talk about the same thing. So I did watch one particular video all the way through and he did say that there is a manufacturer in Hong Kong, but he could not really say, you know, if they were fakes or not. These are the sneakers. Comment down below. I'm gonna show you guys all the details of the box and everything like that. Comment down below if you guys think these are fakes. Like I said, I got this from Flight Club. I'll put all the screenshots on the um, screen <laughs> to show you guys. So yeah, that's the details of the box. And I have a bunch of 12s here already. I have like two pair up there that I can compare it to. But yeah, I ended up, I had these sneakers way back when but I actually had the Taxi 12. So instead of the hardware being silver, the hardware was actually gold, as you guys know. This is the first sneaker. I'm gonna show you guys as close as I can because my camera. So that's the details. There is a glue stain right there. Once I got these, I was looking at all the little imperfections. This is the 23. I don't know if you guys can see. That's the little red thing. Um, this is the inside tag. I did get a size four and a half. I don't know, it's probably not showing you guys, but I did get a size four and a half. This is the back right there. Um, so I'm showing you guys all the possible areas so that you can know if they look fake or not. You can let me know down below. I'm still gonna wear them anyway. I really don't care. There's no, um, what's the name? There's no returns in um, Flight Club. And I should have known that because there's like a little dirt stain on here i don't know why and i never wore these i got these like two days ago and i'm literally just looking them over really good right now so yeah that's the sneaker and i'll show you guys the other one so yeah they got the little jump man on the side i don't know if you guys can see that yeah the little jump man just like that so yeah that's what we're looking like i am gonna do that like check check app thing did i see something on the bottom of the sneaker it's on both. It's only on one. This little spot right there, which I find weird. Got the Check Check app. If it's free, I will post the results up here so you guys can know. Like I said, I'm still gonna wear them. Um, Cause like I said, I cannot get my money back. I did order from Flight Club in the past. I ordered the 11s. I'm gonna put them on the screen. And I didn't know that they run as small as they did. So, yeah, I ended up having to sell them and I lost money. So basically, let's go back to the Hong Kong thing. So I ordered on Flight Club. I did go to GOAT at first, but GOAT was saying, I think they was like $227 or whatever. And I was like, mm, I'm grade school, I'm four and a half, so I don't want to pay that much money. So I went to Flight Club and I said, okay, $177, etc. And that's what shipped and everything. So I said, I'm going to get the Flight Club because StockX, I always hear bad things about StockX saying, you know, they sell fakes, they sell fakes, they sell fakes. So I was just like, mm, no StockX. So Flight Club was my last thing. Stadium goods as well. And they was also crazy. And I usually get my sneakers from Foot Locker, Champs, Finish Line, you know, the usual because it's easy to get sneakers in my size from these places. So they only had a four and a five. And I know I'm a four and a half because I do have other sneakers up there the same 12s etc so i know what size i wear fast forward um they said your order has been shipped and i look at the shipping carrier and it said dhl and i'm like dhl and i ordered from china before not sneakers but i ordered other stuff so i know that they use dhl international shipping so i was like why is the shipping international and i bought these from flight club which is located in new york los angeles etc i know they don't come from the store all the time because they have other outside retailers but still i just was like what the heck is going on oh so that just like disappointed me immediately. I was like, I'm never ordering from them again. Like what is happening? So that's when I looked up all the videos on YouTube and they was saying like, you know, they have a sensor in Hong Kong, their process to authenticate the sneakers, et cetera, et cetera. And it does have a little thing on there, but you can get a paper from anywhere, like to put on the side of the sneaker. Like, mm, 
I don't know. I don't like that at all. So, like I said, I looked at the YouTube video. Thing. I didn't get any definite answer of like, oh, are they fake or not? But I see a lot of videos saying, you know, Flight Club sold me fakes or Goat sold me fakes. But I don't know if that's just clickbait or not because I did look at the videos, but really didn't get no insight on it. I know a lot of UAs come from China, etc. Because I do watch a lot of UA sneaker channels. So I do know that's where they get their sneakers from. But I don't know. I'm just... I'm really mad at Flight Club that they don't at least tell you that, okay, well, your sneakers are going to be shipped from Hong Kong because if that's the case, I would like them to say, okay, if you want them shipped in the U.S. or shipped from the U.S. or somewhere other than Hong Kong, you can pay extra. But they did not give me that option. I did not know until the sneakers already shipped out. And like I said, all sales for them is final. So I'm going to do on feet of these i'm probably i'm waiting for my birthday so that's two days away so i'm gonna add that clip in when i have them on and my outfit etc so you guys can see them with the outfit and i'll do some little walking shots for you guys as well but yeah comment down below if you got these sneakers if you got them flight club or goat tell me where they shipped from let me know if you ever got sneakers from flight club or goat and they shipped from hong kong were they real were they fake like i said i cannot return these i'm not gonna sell them i bought them to wear two days from now so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to wear them but like i said i don't think that i'm gonna order from flight club goat or any of them anymore just because i don't know it's just too much like if i can't get them in store i'm just not gonna bother because that hong kong thing really threw me off it turned me off so bad i just was like why would y'all do this at least tell us like i said tell us in advance like this is what's going on if you want to pay extra to have them shipped somewhere else if you don't like that and I feel like when they first got their facility in Hong Kong, they should let you know that on the website. Some sneakers may be shipped from Hong Kong, so you guys can know. We'll specify which sneakers, etc. And give you the option, but yeah. So I'll put the sneakers one last time. 12s. Like I said, I had these before, but I had the Taxi 12s. The only difference was this gold part and I believe something in the back. I'm not sure. I had them so long ago, but yeah. This is what they look like, four and a half. I have not tried them on yet, just because I was just mad at them in general. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about these. Do they look fake, etc. Like I said, if I do the check check app, I will, I think that's what it's called. I will put the results in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing more sneaker content um, in the future. I actually bought this with the money that I made from YouTube. So it's kind of like a gift from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> I didn't have to like spend my own money. It's my own money because I work for it, but like, it's just like, oh, okay. YouTube buying me sneakers. I ain't a big content creator, but I'm trying to get there. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want more sneaker content. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.